Tom Brady told Shannon Sharp on an NFL draft-a-thon that he would trade two Super Bowl rings to have completed that undefeated season against the Giants. I'm Robin Lundberg here with Bill Enright. And Bill, I think that's an easy yes. I, I understand why he would say that. He's got seven of them things. <laughs> it would be different if he had fewer rings total. But you take away two from seven, he's still got five, which puts him over Joe Montana. So I would understand why he would take five in an undefeated season, especially fresh off this one in Tampa Bay. It's just a question of which two he would give away. But do you think Brady's right to want to trade two Super Bowl rings for that undefeated season? A absolutely, Robin. And th this is what makes some of these absolute pro athlete legends just a little bit different than the average legends, if you will. The goats between the really good Hall of Famers. Um, and, and it's their competitive spirit. And Tom Brady, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, the, all these kind of players, they had that where the losses, the misses, they hurt so much more than the wins feel good. And the wins do feel great. We saw Tom Brady celebrating after all of his Super Bowls. But those losses, they stick with some of these players forever. And the loss for the Patriots in 07 might be the greatest loss of any pro sports team because you think of what that team had at stake, right? That perfect season. Tom Brady at the time had the greatest season a quarterback has ever had. Randy Moss that season, still the greatest uh, season a wide receiver ever had. Their defense was spectacular. To go undefeated, it would have been capped off with that Super Bowl over the Giants. It would have put them in an entirely different uh, stratosphere in terms of dominant for a team and the fact that they lost it I, Tom Brady will never be able to recover from that yeah look not all championships are created equal right uh, I mean when you're talking about the, the greatest of all time or or arguably in, in various sports like what LeBron did in 2016 what Brady I think did this year in Tampa or 28 to 3 comeback against the Falcons this would be another one of those that's just memorable in and of itself. And it's not just counting. You're not looking up his Wikipedia or whatever. You're seeing how many Super Bowls he has. You will always remember that, just like we always remember that he didn't win that game and Eli Manning did.